In the first two videos of the playlist, we learned what the API is and how we can create a Python project in Visual Studio Code. In this video, we will create a virtual environment using the Venv module before creating an API with Python. So why do we need a virtual environment? Imagine developing multiple interconnected Python projects. You can transfer many libraries to your projects. This can be a problem if the library and module files are common to each project. Let's say we use the FastAP library in both projects. FastAP libraries can be in different versions. If a function in the library does not support both versions, one of the projects may not work. Therefore, we create a separate virtual environment for each Python project. Since each project has its own library and module files, they work without affecting each other. Now let's create a virtual environment. I open terminal. I need a command prompt. I can create virtual environment by writing this code. You can give any name you want to the venv name part. Again, I prefer the name venv. The venv file has been created in the project. You can select yes to select the newly created venv file as the workspace folder. The Microsoft interpreter has been replaced by venv. Inside the venv and scripts files, there are some files to use in the virtual environment. Soon, we will use the activate file in the scripts to ensure that the commands written to the terminal work in the virtual environment. First, I want to talk a little more about the interpreter. There are several methods for changing the interpreter. You can change the interpreter by clicking here. Note that the Microsoft or Venv interpreter has changed below. You can also change the interpreter from the Select Interpret section in the Command Palette option. We will use the interpreter of the virtual environment. Finally, we want the commands written in the terminal to run in the virtual environment. For example, we will transfer the FastAP library using the pip install command. If we want this to work in the virtual environment, we need to use the activate file. I will go to the activate file in scripts in the venv file. You can use this code. If you saw the venv token, it means you did everything right. In the next video, we will transfer the fast API library and create a simple API. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.